This is a very unmemorable song. Hey, howdy, welcome. It's a zippy introduction to Bits and Brews with Brent and Brian. I'm Brent. And I'm Brian. And with us as always... Glenn. What? What? Who? Oh, his name Buzz, is Just his name kidding. Is All right, folks. Uh, if you're a longtime viewer, you may know that we have... I, I gotta start over again. I gotta start over again. It's all gone so wrong. <laughs> Tell them what we do now. Now we're over at my house, and I have all original hardware. There's a lot of different uh, games that we have here, mostly on uh, EverDrives and the like. It's got all of the games that. on uh, several different cartridges. So we randomly choose today from the Atari 2600 Harmony Drive three different games. And uh, while we do that, we will also be drinking. Today, I am having Bridge Ridgeway Brewing's Reindeer Revolt. And I'm having... Bell's Christmas Ale, Scottish Ale. Don't, I don't drink alcohol, but from the bad people at Frosty Company, I'm having Frosty. Ginger beer. Delicious. All right, folks, that's the setup. Let's get to the action. That's your job. All right, here we got the first game. <laughs> I don't have the controller anymore. Randomly selected. I don't know if this is two players or not, so here's the second we'll controller. We'll find out in a big way. Now today, as I mentioned, we are playing original hardware. I have right here, if you can see this, the Atari 2600 <laughs> running on the Harmony EverDrive flash card. Right. So, here we go. The first game, randomly chosen, Beam Rider. So much technology used to simulate old technology. <laughs> Very true. So much computer science put into. All right, here we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa! We're going through time or something. I'm not really sure which. Oh wait, here we go. So this is you're just uh, nice you're riding a beam, and uh, you're gonna be uh, destroying all this stuff. And uh, yeah, I don't know what's happening. I'm. Uh, Danny's crawling on the floor. I think I think I know what he wants, and it's uh, it's over there on the on the uh, TV stand over there, or or there where he has discovered it. Trying to turn it up or down? Up. Here we go. All right, take over, Brent. Okay. You ride the beam, and what? you're destroying everything. I don't really know what's happening here, but no, this is like a dark tower thing, right? In the beam, the beam abides. What's the, the beam, beam do, Brian? What, what's there's a, probably a saying in the dark tower about the beam. The uh, beam guides us all. We're the, all on the beam. The beam is Cotet is the beam. Cotet is the or beam. Or something. Right I think there. you made that. Up. I'm not really sure. Holy crap! We have Cotet. Shoot it! Shoot it, Brent! Shoot! It. Wait, your bullets don't even go that yeah, far. Yeah, I can't even get to it. I guess you can't. You can't shoot it. Whatever that thing is. You did it! You've made it to the next board. You're still alive. Oh, well, it's here. It's all you. Mm. Ride the beam. I didn't expect to make that. This looks like uh, you're, you. Want, at first, you were shooting an asteroid or something. But you can't destroy the asteroids. You can only dodge them. No, this game's kind of cool. Let's say you're Stephen King and you're like, I want to make an adventure story. And one is Clint Eastwood, and the other one is a woman in a wheelchair, and the other one's a child, and the other one's a junkie. Um, Does that sound like people you really want to hang out with for seven books? No. no. And in fact, after the fourth book, there's really no reason to continue reading that series. I take I, I have to take issue with that, Brian. I finished reading the whole series last summer, and I actually enjoyed book seven quite a bit. Oh, Brent. I know. Brent, we could have a whole episode <laughs> on a book fight about <laughs> okay, that. Book and fight. Coming up next, Danny is eager to start a new production. Oh. We never died. No, no yeah. we didn't. We've been this might be the first game ever where we didn't die. Jeez. High fives. Woo and all three of us oh, played. Danny just died. All three of us yeah. played and we didn't die. Yeah. Ride the beam. <laughs> and our next game that we're going to play is Human Cannibalism. Dot bin. <laughs> Woohoo! A.K.A. Human Cannibal. I thought it said human cannibalism when I saw it. All right, it's here we go. Joke. Uh, that was my moment. So you blew it. Let's see. You, you can change it. the direction of the cannon, and then you shoot your man, and mm -hmm. then you move the. Oh, mm -hmm. see, I actually caught it. That's amazing. Yay! Oh, he stands up and he celebrates. Oh, good. Well, right. Wouldn't you if you escaped so, death? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Right. We're gonna From put a sentient this... <laughs> catching Here's bucket. What we need. <laughs> we gotta put this thing. We gotta put this thing at like 90 degrees. Oh, it only gets up to 80. That's. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, get over there. Get over there. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 
What does that say? When yeah, what does it say? Uh, funeral home? I think it said funeral home. <laughs> Can't tell. All right, here we go. Here we go. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> That's some exciting shit. All right. Well, oh, Let shit. No, 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 I can't read. Danny, it. you're close to the TV. What does it say? It's just pixels. No, it says something. Right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're gonna put it way down. Shoot him right into it. And we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> can you put it at a 45 degree angle? Let's shoot him right into see it. how low we can actually go. <laughs> Maybe I could put it at like minus five and shoot him right into the ground. Nope, 20. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It says something. It's just, it's too pixelated to read. <laughs> about 30 degrees. That was funny. No! <laughs> it's too much. Hey, you want to try? <coughs> press up to change the uh, degree up or down. Gotcha. And then move, after you press the button, then you can move the. Uh, Which oh, is slow moving, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, let's just do it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 40, 44 miles an hour. Wait, what? Oh, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> You're just murdering these acrobats, Brent. <laughs> what would you have me do, Brent? <laughs> I don't How know. How far can you go? 80 was the highest. 80 was the highest, but then you got to move that thing like immediately. Oh! Oh! <laughs> hey, You're brain dead. You got to get some of this. <laughs> oh, here. Let me restart it. Oh, over. It said O V E R. Over, game Is that over. What he baby. says down there? <laughs> no, luckily, do it once. Once, once, and. Yeah! Oh! oh yeah! yeah. Okay. <laughs> it was a it was a narrow. Wait, escape. shoot one. Does he actually say game over at the bottom? Is that what he's saying? I don't know. Whatever. I've, if you're on the internet, tell us what it says when you die on human cannibalism. Mm. Not bad. And the third game of the evening and final game for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred is Shuttle me. Orbiter. It was me. So <laughs> let's just see how we can figure this one out. It was me. All right, yeah. I've got a space shuttle. You ready for this? Yeah. What happened? Uh, nothing. Here we go. Brian sucks. I'm taking, yeah. I'm taking off. Are you doing anything right now? I'm doing, I am flying the shuttle Challenger. By pushing a button. By pushing a button. Okay. Now I am in space. Where am I? See the the bar over on the far left is somehow moving. I assume, I'm hoping you're going to appear. Oh, somewhere. here we go. There you go. Wait, what? What just happened? You almost get to play the game. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there brief moment where you were able to play. Holy crap! What is this? That's that's something not to hit. Uh oh! I thought maybe I had to fly through that. Whatever. No, well, it was. apparently not. Right? Well, I'm going to keep on going. I'm flying like off the top of the chart there. What is going on? What kind of game is this? I don't know. <laughs> I might go back down. Uh, Art. what's going around the planet? What is all that stuff? Here I am. That giant ruler. Look, I'm in a, uh, I'm, I'm navigating a, a asteroid belt, Brent. Uh, you know, the famous asteroid belt around Earth. Brent, I, are there space rocks? Brent, this never ends. And now I'm back down Yay. again. I don't understand this portion of the game, really, I guess is what I'm saying. Well, here's what we need to see. We need to see if I can fly all the way down and crash. Wait, satellite? I can't dock yeah. with the satellite. satellite. I'm just going to see if I can crash into the ground. Let's find out. Eyes. No. You never see really... you oh, here, see if you can figure something out. I can't figure it out. Spaceman. Up or down, up or down. What? I don't want to do this. I, I don't know where this I'm This doesn't to seem to be a game. Well, it's it's slowly lose, counting we're down we're to zero. Our here, let's see if we can fly back to Earth. You know what? The timer is actually on the game screen for two minutes. <laughs> I didn't even realize that until right now. That can't be right. See if you can. Uh, Nothing's run, happening. See if you can run out of gas, Brent. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I don't either. <laughs> Catch up to those <laughs> items up there. Okay. Yeah. Now, how? What? What arbitrary rule says that I get to do this now? I don't know. But I know you're about to run out of gas. Uh, well, we'll be stuck in Brent? space forever. Brent! Well, we're doomed. <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> it's like Leica. We're just floating you, around in space. You just redlined and killed everybody. <laughs> well, that's what they get for not telling what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> and we're back. And for our fourth game, we're... No, no. Just beer. So, 
This time I was drinking Ridgeway Brewing's Reindeer Revolt, a 6% alcohol beer from the United Kingdom. And uh, it's very nice. It's a, uh, it's like it's kind of a goldenish color and uh, fairly, fairly hoppy. Not like an IPA, but definitely more like a pale kind of hoppiness to it. I would give it a three and a half stars easy. <laughs> All right. Wiggity wham wham wazzle, wobble wobble wobble, and zigga zigga. I'm drinking Bells from Comstock Mit My. Which one's my? Michigan? Michigan. All right. I'm drinking the Christmas <laughs> Ale. It's Scottish Ale. Went down nice and smooth. We're cleaning out Brian's holiday beers. I think he yeah. has some from October still in there. That's true. Yeah. This is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We're still cleaning out the Christmas beer. <laughs> but uh, it was great. There. Buzz? Uh, again, from the terrible people at Frosty Company, we have Frosty Ginger Beer. This is also located in my... Frosty's um, the one that make stuff for... They're like, no, let's Frosty Paws. I'm thinking about the food for dogs. This is actually ah. my moment. Okay. Liquid. So we're going to drink it. He's drinking dog liquid. <laughs> um, it's ginger beer for sure. You can't taste the Frosty. I can't really taste the Christmas... Zip, zip. I, I, I get it. I get it. Four stars. Is it actually an alcoholic ginger beer? I don't think so. Oh, but okay. I don't know. So it's ginger soda. Yeah. Mm. I haven't given any reviews to the games. <laughs> we do the well, beer. Oh, yeah. Are we supposed to do the games? I guess we do the games. <laughs> but we'll do it in reverse order this time. Oh, I forgot all about that. And our first game was Beam Rider. Ride the Beam. For the Atari 2600, as were they all. And uh, I thought that game looked pretty interesting. It had some pretty sophisticated graphics for a nearly 40-year-old system. Easily a three-star game that I would play again. Fairly simple, just move and shoot, move and shoot. Yeah, I feel the same way. Uh, I was really impressed with the graphics for that era, for the 2600. Well, I wonder if that was later in the cycle for that system, because they made good use of making uh, using simple shapes, but still giving a sense of motion. So, uh, yeah, simple mechanic, easy to play. Good time, three stars. Beam Rider uh, has uh, good graphics. Um, it has um, spaceships. It has its moments, sort of like Buzz on Bits and Brews. So I give it three and a half stars. Personally, I give Buzz two stars. I'm still waiting for those moments. What was the uh, second game? The second game was Human Cannonball. Human Cannibalism, book. <laughs> slash Human Cannibalism. <laughs> And really, if you're playing that game, you're not going to try to catch the man. You want to shoot the man as high and as far as possible and watch him die. And apparently he says some foul curse words that you can't read on the screen because they're so pixelated. Yeah. But uh, I would easily give that game four stars because I could just continue to kill that man for an hour. Yeah, five star game for me. I would kill that dude for hours on end, no doubt. Loved it. I'd like to think it was an endless line of those men just waiting to get in. Oh. Uh, and when the one dies, his last words are, don't get in. Uh, five stars. <laughs> and the final game? Was that a five-star reviewed game across the board? I think Brian gave it four. Four, ah. but honestly, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Well, well, but a lot of fun isn't five stars, is it, Brian? No, no, because next we have Shuttle Orbiter. <laughs> and let's be honest, I have no idea what the fuck is happening in that game. You take off once you're in space. You can't crash anymore. You can apparently hump satellites, make your way through a minefield slash uh, asteroid field that never ends. Uh, when I went all the way up to the top, there was something that looked like I'd have to fly through it, and I couldn't. So I don't know what the hell was going on in that game. Two stars. Yeah, I'm actually right there with Brian. I didn't know what the hell was going on. Uh, if it was just the shuttle dodging asteroids part, that's a simple thing that I would enjoy. So I give it two stars just for that, but otherwise... I uh, found it inscrutable. Interesting concept. It had a different uh, look to it than most games like Pac-Man. It looks nothing like Pac-Man. <laughs> Casey Munchkin? <laughs> uh, Casey Munchkin was a thing that <laughs> you've just talked about. So I give it four and a half stars. MC Kuchkin. Nice. Sorry. Four and a half? Four and a half. Four and a half. Jesus. All right, folks. I think that wraps it up for us. Please check out all of our things. We've got our Twitter, which is at Bits and Brews. We have our email, bitsandbrews at gmail.com. If you have questions, I'm sure that you do, shoot them on over to buzzquestions at hotmail.com. If you are a beer company, we want to drink and review and promote your beer on the air. Please contact us at the aforementioned Bits and Brews uh, at gmail.com. Send us beer. Send us beer. If right. you have sugary drinks from other countries. Yeah, he'll drink weird shit. So uh, if you have weird I'll shit. I'll drink weird things and, and you know, make 
real comments about those things. If you All right, me. he'll try a little harder. So uh, check out our YouTube channel, Two Men One Couch, and our other programs. We love you very much, and thank you. Goodbye. Later. No, you can see it on the TV. I very much can. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs>